Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with a general surgery course. We have started discussing about the liver pathologies and in the previous lecture we have talked about the liver trauma. But today we'll be talking about the chronic liver disease. It's um, more of a surgical topic, but it's important to discuss because the ultimate management for the chronic liver disease is the liver transplantation. And sometimes in the complicated, in the advanced stages, it ends up being, uh, you know, you have to uh, go surgically uh, place uh, the shunt. So that's a, uh, that's why it's important to discuss this topic. So uh, have the uh, have a look at the outline of today's lecture. We'll be talking about a little bit about the lateral anatomy, uh, the the different lobes of the liver, the surgical significance for the division for the lobes of the liver, and we'll be talking about uh, the 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 blood supply, the vascular uh, the vascular drainage, and then a little bit about the portal and the systemic circulation. Then we'll be talking in detail about the chronic liver disease and how is actually uh, the patient is going to present to you. We'll be talking the important important salient features of the chronic liver disease and we'll be talking about the clinical features in case of the advanced disease like the hepatic encephalopathy and the varicel bleed. In today's lecture, we'll be talking about the CTP classification, the different parameters and the points, uh, which is actually going to help quantify the severity of the chronic liver disease. Then we'll be talking about the important investigation in case of the CLD specifically, and uh, importantly, uh, to investigate the other other uh, pathologies related to the tumor and um, other some kind of the seedings, uh, the metastatic tumors as well. We'll be talking about the low role of laparoscopy in uh, in CLD and other pathologies as well. In detail, we'll be talking about the portal hypertension and we'll be talking about the clinical manifestations of the portal hypertension, which is one which which uh, the uh, among those the most important in the varicel bleeding. We'll be talking about the management for the varicel bleeding, how conservatively you're going to manage that case, and what kind of the uh, interventions are being required, uh, the medical interventions and the surgical interventions for that particular uh, uh, condition. Then we'll be talking about the ascites and the factors uh, which are uh, responsible for the development of the ascites. Then how you're going to determine the cause because it's it's not a uh, hard and fast rule that the ascites is only because of the CLD. There are some other conditions as well which are actually uh, producing ascites. So how you are going to investigate the cause for the ascites. Then ultimately we'll be talking about the treatment of the ascites and the CLD. And then we'll be talking a little bit about the liver transplantation. We have other lectures on our site, which is cardia.com. You can go there, get access, and enjoy our lectures, which are present on the site. For the detailed lecture, keep watching scardia.com.